I'm Carol Z. I'll be sharing with you some teaching strategies for beginners. Hope they're helpful. Okay, day one with your beginners. Day one, here's your lesson plan. Two things to cover, finding the beat in the music and shifting their weight. Okay, these are the two fundamental things they need to learn in order to develop in their dance. Um, so, you're going to cover things like touch, step, maybe a heel drop, okay? The reason you want to keep it so basic in the beginning is it allows you to get them moving to the music and feeling like they're dancing right away. So, here's an example of how I might do that. I explained to the students that touch has no weight. A step changes weight, okay? So, I'll have them say the words with me. Touch, step, touch. If a student does this for a step, no good. Don't accept it. They have to get right away that they, you have to shift your weight completely when they take that step. I over-exaggerate a lot with the beginners because, you know, it's important that they really see the difference. So touch and step, touch and step. Pick it up. Touch and step, touch and step. So once we do that for a little while, great. Then I might put it into a little combination like give me three touches and one step.
four, E, and up. Okay, so I'll ask my students to clap the first two lines. Do the quarter notes one time, do the eighth notes one time. So they'll do one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four. And. Then we'll try it with the triplets. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. And they'll try sixteenth. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Okay, in their, in their dancing during the first year, they're only going to dance footwork-wise with quarters and eighth notes, um, but they will be aware of what triplets are, what sixteenth notes are, for when they reach that level in level two, say. Um, but again, I just can't reinforce enough the importance that they get this, that they understand how to count what they're doing, because it will make everything they learn that much better. Another technique I use when working with beginners, when I'm introducing a new step, I start with the bones of the step. And what I mean by that is where the quarter notes are, where the weight shifts are. So, single time step. Here's the bones. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once they get that, I put the correct rhythm on it. Shifts, bones.